Hey guys, before I get started on today's video, I wanted to give out a shout out to Prime Arcade. You can follow him off of Instagram, and I believe he has a Facebook account. But the reason why I'm giving him a shout out today is because of these cool arcade stands that I ordered from him. They look like they're coming straight out of, straight out of the arcade, and they're well made. So, if you guys are wondering, where do you get them from? I got them from Prime Arcade, and he does, he's easy to work with, they're not too expensive, but I will, I mean, if you look at them, they're pretty decent, well made, well polished, and um, yeah, definitely going to be ordering some more, and once again, that's Prime Arcade. All right, let's go ahead and get started in this video. Hey guys, and welcome back to another toy review. Today we're taking a closer look at Figma Super Sonico. Hey guys, and welcome back to my video, and happy New Year's. Um, I wanted to start my uh, New Year off with another action figure, but she hasn't arrived yet. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this Figma right here. Yes, she is different. Um, she is a mature figure, but she was super cute. I mean, I don't have a figure like this, so that's why I went ahead and got her. Um, I've been seeing her around for like years on uh, what's this, uh, bad big bad toy store.com and other people's Instagram. They had her, and I wanted her for the longest, so I was like, let me go ahead and finally get her. Um, I found her for a low price because I was not about to spend $200 or $300 on no darn figure. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, that's that. So, without further ado, oh, we already looked at the front of the box. So, that's the front. This is the side. This is the back. And this is the other side. That's the window she has. So, as you can see, she comes with a beach ball, the little tube. Um, it's supposed to be a popsicle, but it has fallen and that's her in her bikini and she has two faces Well, she comes with three, but she has two on the side and she has extra hands at the bottom um, And there is two versions of this so I Wanted to get the tan version because I thought that was more appropriate the the non tan one God, it's uh, quite uncomfortable so <laughs> Um, uh, that's why I went ahead and got this one. So let's go ahead and get her open. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a closer look at is her pink tube that she has. This is a hard piece. I thought it would be softer, but, um, it's very hard, but it's well detailed. So this is her little floating that she can use when getting in the pool, the beach, whatever. Nice pearl, uh, paint going on. It's a nice shimmery pink pearl pearlescent i think that's the word uh for this accessory well made i mean it's just simple but still next we have her beach ball so it's the same thing a nice pearl as a pearly paint job going on so blue to a nice silver metallic look i think that would be metallic but it's pretty nice uh, and this is also hard also so yeah this is pretty cute the next accessory is her popsicle that she comes so it's melting and this is really small oh crap <laughs> and this is really small so it's best to keep this in a safe place I mean I don't know if you're gonna get this figure or not um definitely put it somewhere where you can't lose it because just like me, <laughs> it's gonna be lost. So as soon as I, soon as I'm done with this review, she's going. This is going right into the bag. Next, she comes with two other faces. I can't do that at the same time. One is like she's trying to capture the popsicle that's melting, and um. They did a good job on the eyes, very anime, um, eyebrows, it's the small details that count. So yeah, that's that one. And the other one is, this one, she looks a little nervous 
as if something had happened. I don't know. Someone's after her or she's embarrassed or she's shy. Next, she comes with these collective of hands. Um, another one hand of a uh, one open hand, two fists, two hands to be grabbing or holding something, and the other hands are more of a um, I can't say what these hands would be, but they're I guess relaxed hands. So these are the hands that she comes with, and like I said, she has one of these on, so the other one's on her. So yeah, okay, so here she is out of the box. Um, uh, first impression is. She looks good. Um, she's very bussy, <laughs> as you can see on top. Um, however, the bikini is super cute. Ah, I love it. Nice and silver, a nice silver meta uh, metallic top and bottom. Um, her hair is very pale. It's like a pale pink thing going on, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and she comes with her headphones because I believe she's supposed to have her headphones. I'm not too familiar with this character, so I don't know her background. I don't know everything about her. I did do like some research, a quick research before I made the purchase on her and she had a lot of inappropriate stuff. So, <laughs> well, let's just say adult things for adult collectors. So, yeah. Definitely not a, a kid toy at all. So this is the front of her and this is the back of her. <clears throat> she does have a peg in, peg hole in the back, but she didn't come with a stand. So I don't know what that's about, but um, it's cool. I have one for her. Um, she's very hippie. I would say she's the only girl in my toy collection that has like hips like this. Everyone else is like straight, narrow, or muscle built, like Chung Lee and Cami and the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger and the Marvel Legend girl. So everyone is more of an athlete than she is. She's more of a regular old girl that's on the beach. She also has this, uh, I believe that this is her logo on her thigh, so that's very faded in. Um, so yeah, let's get into articulation. Um, she is single jointed right here. So like I said before, she's, oh snap, she's single jointed right here. <laughs> she's an older version of Figma action figures. So her joints are, they're standing out there like that. Um, the newer ones are more of a, they're more hidden. They're not standing out, but, um, so yeah, but this is fine. I'm not upset. I'm not disappointed. It's cool. I can still, I can look past that. You know, I can look past the, the joint standing out. Um, yeah, so she could look all the way this far up, this far down, wait a minute, this far down. Um, this is the back of her and she, you could pull her leg out. Not pull it out, but if you need like an extra inch or so to do a certain pose, you could help pull the joint down a little bit. Um, she can't turn all the way around. I know, well, she can, but I don't want to push it. So let's leave it like leave it at that. Single jointed knees, and she could rotate at the ankle all around 360. Kind of, sort of. It's kind of tight. So let's just leave it at that. Like I said, I don't want to break her. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cute. I love her. I, uh, I think she'll be perfect in my toy collection. Um, I'm happy I went ahead and made that purchase after so many years. I was like, oh, I got to get her. Got to get her. Got to get her. Got to get her. But you know, priorities come first. Um, so let's go ahead and switch out her face. And then I'll do my final thought. Here she is with the worried look on her face. And here she is with the uh, the mouth open face. So she's, you know, trying to capture the popsicle. I'm gonna put that in her hand right now. So yeah, that's that. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Before I go into final thoughts, I wanna do a quick height comparison. So she is pretty short. I wanna say she's about four inches, just about close to five. 
Um, as you can see, she is the shortest out of everyone that is on this table. Um, uh, UFC Cracker McGonner, C Connor McGregor, child. <laughs> um, he's taller than her. Shadow Ranger's taller than her. Goku is a few inches taller than her. And also, I can't remember his name. I said I was going to give him a nick one. But the guy from Slam Dunk, he's definitely taller than her. So my final thoughts for her uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give her a good 6. Why a 6? 1, because of the joints. The way that she's shaped, um, it could have been better, but I feel as though Figma was really trying to go for like a sexy girl look. I mean, she's a sexy character, and they're trying to make her look as sexy as, as, sexy as possible. Um... I just don't like too much of how she f stands on her own because it looks like she's double jointed. Not double jointed, but her legs go out instead of going straight. So they're like going straight out um, like she has a standing problem. <laughs> um, that was one thing I didn't really like too much. Also, I didn't like the back because then it's like the cheeks. <laughs> the cheeks. Uh, the cheeks don't really line up too well. At a certain angle, they do, but yeah, I sh there is another figment out there of her, more of it, more of, of a. <sighs> there is another figment of her in a more action figure look kind of sort of thing. I don't know, it's like a transformer, but that one is more cooler than this one. But I wanted to get this one because. We need some sex appeal to this collection, and she's something I've been looking for. So, yeah, that's my final thought. She's a 6 out of 10, um, which is not too bad. So, there is room for growth. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out Prime Arcade for your action, uh, action figure arcade stands. They're definitely cool. I love them. I use them in almost about all my pictures on Instagram. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.